Today, we are going to play Stardew Valley. We are going to look around our new house and around our land. We were given, we were given a house and land by our grandfather. Let's see what happens. So, first things first. Here is our house. We have a bed, a bed to sleep in, we have a bed to sleep in, we have a fireplace where, where we can stack wood and light the wood, we can light the wood to make a fire. Let's light the wood now. Ta da! Thanks to the fire, we will not be cold. Instead, we will be warm. On the table, we have a bowl. We eat at the table and we eat from the bowl. Beside the bowl is a chair. We can sit on this chair. We can sit on the chair. While we're on the chair, we can eat from our bowl. On the floor, on the floor, there is a present. What could be inside, inside the present? Let's look. Inside, inside the present was parsnip seeds. What are parsnip seeds? Parsnip seeds are seeds that grow they grow into parsnips. Parsnips are a vegetable. So now we have parsnip seeds. Let's go outside. Let's go outside and see if we can plant the seeds. Here is our house from the outside. We have the smoke coming out of the chimney because the fire is on. I forgot. Let's turn it off and we'll turn off from that. That's better. Okay, so as you can see, this is all of the land that our grandfather gave us. But it's very wild. Everything's all over the place. Trees, grass, logs, rocks. We have to clean it up. Let's clean it up. First off, let's cut the grass. With the site, with the site, we can cut the grass. Here we go. Let's cut the grass. Here's some more grass, let's cut it. Okay. Now let's try and get rid of those logs. So we're gonna take the axe, the axe, and we're gonna try and chop the logs. So let's take the axe and chop. Here we are chopping the logs. One chop, two chops, three chops. We are chopping the logs. Let's chop this tree. Let's chop this tree. One, two, three, four, five, and it's gone. Now let's get rid of the rocks. As you can see, there's lots of rocks. Can we use the axe to chop the rock? No, no. We need a pickaxe. With the pickaxe, we can break the stones. Let's try. It worked. So let's use the pickaxe to break all the other stones. At least the ones in front of the house, which we're going to use this area here, this area, which we're going to use to plant the seeds. Okay. Now we have cleared an area. We've cleared this area. We got rid of the grass. We cut the grass. We chopped the logs and we broke 
We broke, broke, broke the rocks and now we have a clear area where we can plant our parsnip seeds. But before we plant the parsnip seeds, we have to dig, dig the soil. Let's dig the soil. We have 15 seeds. We have 5, 10, 15 seeds. So let's make 15 holes. 15. There we go. Now let's plant the seeds. Let's click on the parsnip seeds and then we click on the holes and we go plant. There we go. Planted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We have planted all of our seeds, but we're not done yet. We need to do one more thing for now. We need to water them. We need to water the seeds. Let's get our watering can. Here it is, used to water crops. So these are our crops, parsnip seeds. And we're gonna use this watering can to water the seeds. And here we go. Just like this, we can water all the seeds. Our water, can, once we use our watering can, some of the water goes down. As you can see, there's a little meter here that shows how much water is in our watering can. This goes down and then we have to refill it at the ponds. So let's keep watering our plants. Our seeds even. Now we have watered all the seeds. But we have used about half of our water in the watering can. So let's refill it. We'll go over here and there we go. We refilled the water from this pond. So now we have cleared our garden. We've cleared our garden and we've planted 15 parsnip seeds. Now we have to wait and see will they grow will they grow next time we'll see if they can grow and we'll go and visit some of the other people who live in Stardew Valley bye